No, you're stealing her from right under his nose. Oh, his pride's hurt. He'll get over it. Jay. Why is there no mess in your house? There's loads in ours. Well, that's because Uncle Nikhil here goes a bit funny in the head when it comes to tidying. <laughs> My mum says Kane goes funny in the head. Um, is there another woman staying here? Because I just found these in the bathroom. They help me unwind. Oh, well, it's good to know someone's in touch with her feminine side. Talking to baths. Had one last week. Why don't you take a leaf out your Uncle Nichols' book and turn it into a long, hot soak? And if you're lucky, maybe one of these kind gentlemen might read you a story. Baths are for girls. Upstairs now. You don't mind keeping an eye on him, do you, while I go and pick the rest of my stuff up? Babysitting. It gets better and better. Don't you go changing the locks, right? Look, I know it's not ideal. Ideal? Try suicidal. I can handle Kane. No, you can't. And since when do you get to invite other people's families to stay over without even asking me? Oh, right, because you never do that. Maisie wasn't shacked up with a head case who tortures people. I like her. Look, we've got something. I'll make sure they engrave that on your headstone, shall I? I'll be looking for the pint, John, the queue. What's up? Something about that copper, Henshaw. He's done his disappearing act with young Katie. Is that right? Zach, finally got a hold of Jenny. Katie's boyfriend's got a hold up in his house and he's not letting her go. You what? Tell me, I didn't hear that right. I thought you were a bit dodgy, but this... Yeah, he might have had something to do with the fire and all. How oh, is she? I don't know, he's not letting her talk to anybody. Oh, I've got to get over there. No, you can't. Jenny says they're not letting anybody within a mile. She's going to call me if she knows how. Poor girl. Andy must be beside himself. And what the hell are you looking so flaming smug about? I'm sorry, but I think I've got a right to feel a little vindicated here. Wasn't that long ago everybody was pointing the finger at me for that blaze. Two people died in case you've forgotten. And that young lass is going through God knows what trouble. Yes, but I didn't do it. But well, that makes it OK, does it? No, I'm just saying... Yeah, well, don't! Anyway, makes a change, doesn't it? Something you didn't do. It's funny, when I stood outside your place that night, trying to decide... I knew, in that moment, I had the power to change everything. To make everything right again. Guess I was wrong. Do you think that's going to make it right? This... is my insurance policy. For what? Depends. On? Them. And you. We can't still be together. <laughs> A minute ago, I was insane. Now it's all happy ever after. I was frightened. Why are you frightening me, Nick? Please, it doesn't have to be like this. You think we can walk out there hand in hand and be together? Yes. When they send me to prison, we'll still be together. It won't come to that. This isn't the way you know that. No line of communication. Dialogue broken down. Won't be long before that inspector out there makes his move. Oh, for God's sake, Nick, if they know you've got that, they'll kill you. Oh, God. Okay, shh. Love me. Love me. Are they done, do they? 
you sure this is OK? I feel bad just dumping myself on you. You make yourself right at home. We like having lots of visitors, don't we? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about earlier. You must have enough on your plate. Will you stop uh, apologising? Uh, <laughs> We're just pleased we can help, aren't we? Of course we are. Well, I should take her up for a bath. <laughs> it's a bit early, isn't it? She could do with an early night. Yeah, look, I'll do it, I'll do it. Maybe Brenda would like to read her a story. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Uh, is that a good yeah. idea? No, no, she's right. Um, she doesn't know me. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> we remember Auntie Brenda, don't we? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Ooh, I think she's brought us a little present. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Always happens on Grandpa's watch, doesn't it? Come on. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I'll go and see if he needs any help. Let's just hope she doesn't breathe on her. <laughs> mm. I'll send her off to sleep. Mm. Terrific. It'll be work. I'll, uh, I'll take it outside. Joy? What's he playing at? You must know there's no way out of there. I want that girl out of there. If you can't deal with Henshaw, I will. I'm doing my best here. Five minutes, and we're going in. That's right. We hit the doors front and back. This could all be done and dusted. For all we know, he's killed two people. Do you want to risk a third? All the more reason to get in there. He's had his chance. Give us your mobile. Hey? Just give it to me. He's not worth it. But she is. Go easy, yeah. I've only put a fiver on that. Ah, there you are. I was just going to ring you. Chas called me. Ah, so you've heard that. I can't believe it. Has there been any more news? They reckon he might be the arsonist. I asked him, not you. All right, love, you're only trying to help. Oh, Lisa, have you had any more word from your Jenny? Nothing, that's why I came down. Yeah, well, she told Chaz we're better off stopping here till she knows hotels. Oh, I'm going out my mind here. Well, come and sit here with us. No, I need to keep busy. I'm going to try Andy again. Yeah, I'll try Jenny. How about you, love? No, I best go home. Bella will be coming back from swimming in a minute. Oh, I thought I could hear the friendly voice. Actually, darling, I'm just yeah. off. Sure I can't get the pair of a drink? Hey, now that's a man speaking my language. Hey, come on. Punk yourself down here. <laughs> What's up with you? You're not this much of a gent at the factory. Well, a little bit of bedside manners never did any harm, eh? Ah, but whose bedside are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'd best be off. See you when I see you. Yeah, I'll phone you. Who's here, or anything? Hear anything about what? Ah. Me again. Look, I'm feeling a bit of a numpty shouting through this thing, so how about you let us in? Come on, mate. You want me that much at least? I've got Darren's pay as you go. I'm sticking it through now. Help me out, Nick. Talk to me and no one else needs to get involved. But you have to meet me halfway. She's trying to help you. She's trying to nick me. She's a good cop. That's what I would do. This is crazy. You can't seriously think you can use that. Would you rather? I went to prison while. Well. You and Banjo boy fall back into each other's arms. I've told you that'll never happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. Or by killing more innocent people. No. Just two.
Protect me. I haven't done anything wrong. You just need to be brave. Oh, you're back then. Luckily for you, Angel's still awake. I'm not stopping. What? I've got to do a drop-off in York. But I'm uh, 19. I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise. Uh, middle of the night, more like. No, no, you're not going anywhere until you tell me what's really going on. I told you. This isn't about some run to York. For once, have the guts to tell me the truth. Do you want to know? All right, I'll tell you. It's you. What? You're doing my head in because you, you never listen. Jimmy, if we're going to have another baby, we need to start trying. Well, I'll tell you what. Phone a friend, get him to fill in for me. Admit it. The real reason you're going is because you don't want to have another baby. Oh, I can't even talk to you when you're like this. I'll see you later. Jim... Come on. Pick up. Ballet trooper warming up. Hey, the guy's lost it. and desperate. You've done your best. Detective, send him in. Okay. What's happening? They're doing what they should have done from the start. If something goes wrong. Well, that's pretty, doesn't it? Please don't do this. There's no other way. So this is it. Your way of showing me you love me. You don't love me at all. That's not true. You only think you do. I believed you about not wanting to hurt Terry Biff. I believed your lies. Oh, they weren't liars. You never cared about that. Or me. You're wrong. Does anything you've ever told me be true? <sighs> Please don't say that. You know, the first time you asked me out. Do you want to know why I went? Because I was humouring you. I was stringing you along until I could get rid of you. <laughs> you don't mean that. Yeah, I do. But then slowly something changed. I started to miss you and you weren't there and no one had ever made me feel wanted like that. Till in the end I realised I'd fallen for you. Right, we're in. What about what you said before? I was scared. What do you expect? So tell me, was it all just a lie? Everything between us? I can't breathe without you. Then don't do this. I'm begging you. Two people died. Because of me. I can't forgive myself for that. But I can.
He's got a gun! Withdraw! <laughs> Get the armed response unit. Now. Why are they coming back? Something's gone wrong. Andy! Andy, no! Andy! Get him back! Katie! Katie! Andy. Oh, don't. Don't do it. Don't. No, please. No, get off me! Please! Please, you've got to get him out. Please, please, it. If anything happens to her, I've got to help you. Taxis here. Oh. Now, are you going to be all right? Yeah, as long as you tell me where these steps you start, are. Step down now. Thank you. Well, oh, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure about that. Do you want a wet nose? <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy a coffee? Oh, yeah. Do you know I would? It's cold. All right. Yeah, See ya. I'm going to try and keep talking to him for as long as possible. Well, I mean, they're, they're going to get her out, aren't they? I mean, they're trained for this kind of thing, right? Of course. Little tip. Leave the light off next time you're on the rob. I need petrol money for, uh, for that job. I thought it was cancelled. They uncancelled it. Aren't you supposed to be on stud duty? Siren little Jimmy Junior, hmm? I'll settle up in the morning. I'll lock it up then, shall I? I'm gonna stop that. Oh, it's you love me. Yes. Oh, it's because you can't stand people knowing what you really are. You couldn't save your wife and that makes you less of a man, doesn't it? That's what this is really about. A real man would have saved Shut up! You say I deserve better than Andy. He's out there trying to save me, whereas you... Say his name one more time. Oh, you'll do what? You'll kill me like you did the others. <sighs> well, well. Looks like somebody's right back where they started. So much for all them lies, eh? Which one exactly, Kane? You saying you'd be faithful? Like you saying you weren't warming Toffee Boy's bed. If this wasn't so tragic, it would almost be funny. Or are you sleeping with everyone in the village? The fact that I haven't. Never even came close. Now I'm a free agent, though. Who knows what might happen? And you know what they say? If anyone can satisfy a sweet tooth, the candy man can. <laughs> Sleep tight, yeah? You don't think I'll do it? Yes! Why? I'm gonna lose you anyway, so why not? Because if you do, you lose the one thing you want more than anything. All right? The chance to be a hero. You won't hurt me because you have to be the one that saves me, not Andy, not them. You! This is it, Nick. This is your chance to make everything right. What are you too frightened? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man deep down. I know it. <laughs> you knew I wasn't wrong to love you. I love you. Katie! Oh, please, no.
Katie, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Any sign of Hushal? Negative. Shit. Oh my. Katie, stand up. Stand up. Come on. Stand up, Katie. Oh. Okay. Katie, listen to me. A gunshot. What's happened? Where's Nick? Do it. Do what? Oh God, Nick. He's dead. He shot himself. Oh God. Oh God. Gosh, well, next tonight, even more drama from Soapland as Peter's on the warpath in Coronation Street. And at nine, Alice is making her presence ever more apparent as Marchland continues.